Hey guys, three tips today. Two from other great coaches, two of my friends, Brian Dabul and uh, Ryan from Two Minute Tennis. And one thing I like to do to avoid the the waiter position here, especially that's going to be a problem with young kids when they start to learn to serve like this. So you can avoid that if you do the right methodical steps. So these are three ideas. Check it out. All right, so the first one is from Ryan from Two Minute Tennis. I love that. It's the first time I saw that. So he uses a party head you can attach. I'm just gonna use a cone today. And when the players go up here, and they're about to, the ball is at the peak at the moment, but after the toss. They hit that party head or that cone off, and that's exactly when the ball is at the peak in this moment. Then the ball drops, they kick the head off, and then they're gonna surf. So I really like that. That's a great idea to, to avoid that the players have the record like this. So the second one I saw and I really like is from my friend Brian Double. So it's the same thing. You don't want to have the players having the record like here and hitting. So Brian, I love that. So he keeps the ball up here. So now when the player goes up, they go up and the ball basically rolls off the record. So if the players would do, do this, then the ball shoots off the record. So it's a tactile thing the players have to feel right here they have to feel to get the racket up it rolls down and then they swing so this is just remember this is just something you put in the lessons a little bit for the feel it's not the whole lesson the kids not going to serve like this because some players misunderstand that this is just the kids do that a couple of hundred times a couple of thousand times and get into the habit and that's what we want to achieve it's not going to be a process for one day, two days. It's going to take a while, but we just throw that in the lesson sometimes. So this is the last one to avoid the waiter or waitress position. And I started to doing that a couple of years ago and it works with the kids. It's easy as well. So the players go up like we did in the two scenarios before. And now they drop the racket and the, and the index finger and in the thumb. Super easy. And then they swing like this. So now as a progression to train the brain, what I like is when they get up and this drill is they drop it and you swing and you do a figure eight. You go up, drop it, swing, figure eight. Up, drop, swing, figure eight. So with this, the players will learn as well to not squeeze the racket too much, which is important as well and it works fantastic.